That's what I'm talking about. Morning car lovers, welcome back. Bobby Freeman here. And this, my friends, is a very, very special day on my channel because this is the very first Ferrari to be featured on my channel. I always think it's a very, it must be a very sort of momentous milestone for any car channel when you've got your first Ferrari. And this, my friends, is it. It is a 458. Look at that. How many videos have I done on this channel? I don't even know. I think it's about, what is it, about... I don't know, nine or ten, you can go back and check and correct me. I'm sure some people will. But we've finally, though, we've got the point. We've got a Ferrari on the show. So, as I say, this one is the 458. Belongs to a very good friend of mine called Simon, and he's very kindly let us use it for this channel. And we're here today at Valeside Car Care in Worcestershire. Very kindly let me use their space here. They are specialists in luxury cars of all kinds. So if you've got a luxury car, or indeed any car, and you want it, um, uh, you want some expert detailing to come uh, to do to it, this is the place to come. Now, as many of you will know this is a very special car particularly because it is the last of the naturally aspirated and as we all know there is no replacement for displacement i was uh, boring my wife to death with that last night to me it was kind of a sad time when displacement uh, um, uh, started to get replaced by these turbo engines. When I was working for Porsche, the last of the aspirated ones came through and everything went turbo. And it, yeah, technically on paper, well, not even on paper, even off paper, they're a bit quicker. And yeah, you know, the numbers all add up, but nothing, nothing compares when you get that, that naturally aspirated kind of oomph behind you when you put your foot down and so this is why this car particularly is one of my favorite Ferrari and as you can see or maybe you can't see this is actually the uh, spider it's got no roof well it does have a roof it's a folding hard top most of the other Ferraris before had a I think this is the first one this time we're just talking we think this is the first folding hard top don't we rather than the soft top and it looks absolutely amazing it's a bit chilly here today in Worcestershire but uh, we are hardcore so we're going to be keeping the roof down we might have it up for a split second so you can know what it looked like but then uh, it's going straight back down and it's also a very special car because this is actually becoming one of those very rare cars it's actually going to be appreciating it's got to that special sort of moment in time where people are actually you know the uh, um, the demand is outstripping the supply so this is actually which is quite rare for a car a pretty good investment in fact some people who bought the 488 have actually gone back to the 4 5 8 because it just doesn't have that same hound that, that same sound that same oomph and that's just it, it kind of speaks volumes doesn't it really so my friends we've rattled on a bit today but you know what i think it's if, if ever there is a car worth rattling on about i think it is a ferrari so we're going to have a look around it a bit of a drive in it and let you know what it's like today so my friends let's have a look around the old fella shall we and look at this I t it, it's weird isn't it how a sort of a man-made object can become kind of almost kind of alluring, kind of draws you in, doesn't it? It's one of, oh man, I don't know, just kind of uh, sort of start a family with it or something. Anyway, let's have a look around. Uh, so from the front, I mean, th this is just one of those cars where I'm trying not to get my shadow on it. This is one of those cars where there's just, there's literally no bad angle on it. I mean, this is probably one of the best. Look at it. I could just do the whole video of just me stood here like this, just filming the car and just say nothing, but it might be a little bit boring. But let's have a look, a bit of a closer look in here. As you can see, let's get my shadow off there. So everything that looks kind of black, you know, there's an old phrase that says uh, everything that glistens is gold. Well, everything that's black is actually carbon fiber on this car. So if you see here, you've got the fiber, fiber carbon, carbon fiber front inlays there. Um, these headlights are just, I remember when I first saw this car, uh, not this exact one, but a car, a 458 going around Mayfair. I was just mesmerized by these lights. Just look, look at that. There's not many cars I spend this long on the headlight, but I think this one's kind of worth it. Um, just beautiful kind of front nose there. It's just fantastic. And the nice little Ferrari emblem kind of almost floating there in the, uh, in the front bumper and of course the fry badge on the front there fantastic it's every boyhood dream i think to have that car uh, to have that badge on the front of their car whether it be a ferrari or not and the lovely fry badge on the side here very indicative of ferrari again carbon ceramic brakes here on 20 inch alloy wheels absolutely perfect and this car's actually it's i think it's well, how old is it i think it's just over 10 years old but you just never i mean look at it does that look like a 10 year old car to you it literally looks like it just rolled out the showroom. I absolutely love this. This is my favorite video so far. Side profile here. Let me get out on the grass without falling over. Oh, man alive. Wouldn't you just love to wake up to that every day? Another wheel at the back is generally uh, popular these days to have wheels on the back as well as the front. And there we go. Let's have a look at the rear on this. Now we're looking slightly into the sun, but I think we can gild it, still get the general idea. Look at that. The beautiful kind of bits that come up the back of the headrest there flowing down 
into the uh, engine compartment there got the vents there we're gonna have a look at the engine in a bit as well nice Ferrari badge there with the uh, Italian flag strip there and obviously another Ferrari badge here and again carbon fiber all across here everything that is black is not actually black it is carbon fiber and also what I really like on this it's got carbon fiber rear diffuser on the back here as well oh man don't you just love a rear diffuser and as we go in closer here we've got the three beautiful exhaust pipes poking out the back there with that awesome incredible naturally aspirated sound will uh, come roaring out later when we take this for a drive <laughs> This is something special. And as promised here, we're gonna have a quick look at the engine in here. Now, I'm not a big fan of looking at engines per se, but when you've got a Ferrari engine, just have a look at that. It's ticking away nicely because me and Simon have been uh, having a bit of fun revving the, revving the damn thing here. Here we go, nice little plaque here. 458 Spider. And that's where all the juice comes from. Now that in terms of storage space, I don't think anyone really buys a Ferrari and thinks about storage space, but if you were looking to store something, you do have a little bit in the front bonnet here, much like in the Porsche 911s. As you can see, it's not too bad, actually. I think as storage space goes, and they're kind of like this, that's pretty good. You've got a space for a number plate, uh, a nice yellow umbrella, um, a couple of uh, cloths there, and many, many other things. A small child, perhaps. Or just, just to be clarified, just to clarify, don't put a small child in the front. So then, let's have a look inside, shall we? Now, this is going to be a little bit more interesting than your standard uh, car review. Because as you can see, uh, Ferrari uh, tried to move in this car everything as much as they possibly could onto the steering wheel. So they've literally packed, it's a jam-packed steering wheel. One of my favourite things is the horn is just there and just over here. I've never seen that before, but... I don't, oh, yeah, that works. There we go. It's a horn, in case you wonder what a horn sound like. But they even put the indicator, so you've got right into the indicator there, left indicator over here for our badge in the middle obviously now this thing over here i'm reliably informed by simon is the manatino switch which sounds absolutely amazing doesn't it so basically these are different driving modes again keeping it very close so you never have to take your hands off the wheel so we've got wet mode here and we've got sport mode race mode kind of speaks for itself ct off that's like the traction control i don't know why it's called ct they probably call it something else each car all cars call it something different so that releases the traction control to a certain degree it takes it off and gives you a you Know, more slip than you would usually have however if you put it in um, this mode here with my finger there we go then that is a different story that is everything off everything off it's basically just a pure car it's steering wheel wheels and you and uh, there's a high chance of you ending up in the ditch over this side we've got the start button here obviously uh, and then this button here is the suspension so as this is quite interesting Simon was telling me so when the car is um, as standard it's uh, when you just turn the car on it's in uh, sort of hard uh, sort of suspension mode because it's a Ferrari at the end of the day it's a race car however if you press that button that actually will soften it up for you so if you want don't want to have your bones uh, shaken and uh, uh, vertebrae destroyed you can put that one on for uh, British roads because they're terrible here and that will give you a nice soft luxurious and civilized ride and then if we look over here we've got very functional things over here lights now this section over here actually control it's like a little BMW iDrive I know I refer everything to the iDrive but it basically controls all the uh, different sort of uh, settings you've got two different screens one there and one there and that uh, basically sort of navigates your way through those and uh, if we look down here uh, uh, nice little Ferrari um, badge here on the side. Again, carbon fiber in the door sills here. You do, I do like a bit of carbon fiber. In fact, I've got, I didn't even mention on the steering wheel, even insets here are carbon fiber there, carbon fiber there. On the edge, no, that's leather. Carbon fiber in here. I don't know what it is about carbon fiber. It's just very, very pleasing to uh, to a car geek like myself. Climate control settings over here, all fairly average and you know what I'd expect in, uh, in any car. So we're gonna scan past that fairly quickly. Launch control over here, if you don't know what launch control is i imagine most people watching the show are going to know what launch control is it's uh, but if you don't just in case it's to if you want to get the quickest possible 0 to 60 from uh, from a standstill which is obviously 0 to 60 because you wouldn't be doing 0 if you weren't at a standstill but you basically put that in uh put it in launch mode you slam your left foot on the brake you slam your right foot on the throttle and it will go and it'll hold it at, i'm not sure how many thousands of revs it holds it at i think it's about five thousand. and then you just take your foot off the left foot off the brake and it will just all the computers and sort of uh, clever business behind the scenes will kick in and um, give you the quickest possible start provided 
that is that is that uh, you have a uh, a dry row because they don't actually tell you this but i've tried this on a wet road and you cannot do launch control on a wet road you just get loads of wheel spin so provided you are on a dry road that is one of the most thrilling things you can do in a car then we've got reverse here not quite as exciting as uh, the launch mode that just makes the car go in reverse which uh, foxes a lot of people when they try and, and drive a Ferrari for the first time actually because uh, they can never find the reverse setting then over here we've got uh, the button to put it in the auto mode window controls here and the uh, this puts the little I don't know if that's going to work now no because we haven't got it on but there's, there's a little window here which comes up and down which is basically a, a wind deflector because in uh, uh, convertible cars the wind as many people think it's going to co come across here it actually circles around and comes back this way and uh, ruins your hairdo so if you've got an expensive hairdo you can put that up and then obviously this one is the uh, button to control the uh, roof up and down and as we pan across here just have a look just just take a moment to feasteth your eyes upon the leather of this Ferrari. I always think that if you're going to get a Ferrari, it's got to be red with this cream interior. And this one's even got the little red inserts here as well. It feels like a, oh my God, it feels like a perfectly formed and sort of uh, pert, uh, particularly pert cow was used to uh, to furnish the leather in these seats. It just feels absolutely fantastic. Same in the door cards over there. And as many uh, very wise car owners do, this one has the, even though it's got the beige uh, cream interior, I should say, it has the black dash because you don't want it to be reflected up in the windscreen uh, like a lot of them do that have um, uh, beige or uh, light colored dashes. And then we've got a couple of more options here. This button here is an option on this car. This raises the front um, uh, nose of the car in case you're going over a particularly vicious speed bump, which is very, very handy, particularly when you're in uh, London. And then this one here, is uh, extremely excited. This one opens the glove box. Look at that. I, I don't think any car I've ever been in or reviewed or driven it has ever had an automatic opening glove box. Certainly not from uh, a button down there anyway. And we're just gonna have a quick look at the dash over here with a nice bit of red stitching. I do like a bit of red stitching, as you know, on this channel. I've got the 458 Spider badge over there. And that's kind of basically it. One more thing I forgot to mention on the uh, steering wheel, you got the uh, indicator here, which will you'll see when you drive the car. It uh, lights up, lights along here. Basically, when the lights get all the way along, it tells you when to change gear, just in case you were wondering. So let's give it a bit of a rev, shall we? should see the uh, rev counter things come up here. So here we go. Let's give it a oh, yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> So here we go, we're going to get a quick video of the roof going up, just so you can see what it looks like with the roof up. It's down at the moment, obviously, and on, on a day like this, why wouldn't you? As you say, this is a, the first folding hardtop. I think I'm right in saying that. First folding hardtop that Ferrari's done. And that's it with the roof up. How long does it take again, Simon, was it? 14 seconds. 14 seconds for all you uh, car roof uh, geeks out there, and I know there are many of you. 40 seconds and the car looks like that. Oh yes, that's the stuff. So here we are driving off down the road in Worcestershire. Simon's driving this because I'm not insured and we don't want to uh, get in a world of trouble. <laughs> the great roads for driving down here, aren't they? They're, they're a little bit greasy today, so we don't want to take it, we, we don't want to push it too much until we find a a nice dry patch. Okay, so now we're in full manual mode. Oh yes. And we've got that back window down here. Oh yes. <laughs> that gives me I'd have that window down permanently. Oh it's great. That's awesome. I mean we need to Exactly. Why does it do a radio and drown out that noise of that engine? It's one of those tricky days when it's rained overnight. No, so we got a race mode. Now we're going to race mode. Which oh my god. Shuts down. Um, which just tightens everything up. And so it reacts quicker. The sounds better. <laughs> saying a great deal of this video but as I say I kind of don't want to talk over that awesome sound yeah you can 
see that damp patch on the road there shining oh yeah look at that that's a classic lose your ferrari area isn't it <laughs> I bet you get loads of looks from people driving this car around here because they're pretty rare, aren't they? Yeah, it is very rare, but it, it's nice. It's all very positive. Don't really? get any negativity, which I did think I might get out of that. Yeah, you think give it, you give it the wanker yeah. sign and all that, and so, you don't get any of that. You know, you get lots of um, lights flashing, thumbs up, and oh, wow. the kids always, if you pull up, is rev it, rev it. <laughs> <laughs> what a lovely thing to be able to do as well. Yeah. Most of the time, it's the sunroof's down, so it's great. You know? Of course, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's kind of nice and usable car, you know. You just drive it, nice, easy to drive. You yeah. know, it's not like one of these. I don't know what's something that's hard work to drive, like an old racer or something manual yeah. and all that clunky gears. And I mean, you have it in automatic, and you just poodle along, changes gear for you, does everything. Yeah. Or you can put it, take the automatic off, put it into paddle, use the paddle to change gears. You see the lights come up on the steering wheel, it's great. It just seems really smooth, there's nothing harsh about it as well. And it's just the sound. Yeah. Wow. So guys, thanks for watching my video today. This has just been an absolute mega milestone for me. I've really, really enjoyed making it for you. Hope you enjoyed looking around this amazing Ferrari 458. If indeed you did enjoy it, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Press the like button on the video. Uh, if you want to support the show, head over to the Patreon page or click the join button below this video. But until next time, guys, I'm Bobby Freeman. Drive safe.